Hi, this video is recorded as a part of file layer project CS492 and the objective is to implement fast matching methods. So I have implemented this using Alexander Telia's in painting algorithm. Now let's take a look at the algorithm. First we'll talk about the basic concept of in painting. So here uh, the this darker area is the region omega to be in painted and uh, this we need to in paint the point P in the boundary and we also take a small neighborhood uh, B epsilon of size epsilon and this uh, region is primarily the known image around the P. So here uh, let's consider the a gray image and we use something called the first order approximation here to find the value for the given image to find the value of the unknown pixel and so here uh, this is the concept of first order approximation w is a weighting function I mean weighted function so we use this weighting function because we know that the pixel that is uh, closest to the unknown image I mean unknown point should influence it more so this is our algorithm here uh, we take a point from the boundary and uh, we find the pixel that is uh, closest to the this uh, boundary and we inpaint the P and we advance this more into this unknown area. Now let's see how uh, the significance of FMM in in, in painting. So uh, we inpaint the pixel in increasing distance from the D omega's initial position and we advance the boundary inside omega until the whole region is in painted. So in painting in increasing distance order ensures that the areas closest to the image points are filled in first um, which is similar to how we actually paint. So to implement this we use FMM. So it's uh, basically an algorithm that solves the iconal equation and uh, this what we have is the iconal equation and uh, here when we solve this the solution for t will give you a distance map of um, omega pixel to our boundary d omega and using this map we can make sure that the pixel of d omega are always processed in the increasing order of the distance. So while implementing a solution uh, we, um, we first take a point I mean sorry first let's see uh, how we implement this. So for every image pixel we have a value t and uh, we have a value i and a flag f and this flag f will have three values one is band known and inside band is the pixel that belongs to the uh, boundary and this is uh, its t value actually undergoes update all the time and the next one is the known area that is the image that is already there we do not need to in paint that and its t and i values are known okay and then um, it is uh, another is inside point and this point is the image that we need to in paint so so first what we do is we set t to 0 on and outside the boundary of d omega of the region to in paint and we also set some large value to the inside and initialize f over the whole image as explained. 
so then we insert all all band points to a heap right now uh, there's something called a narrow band and this what this narrow band is our boundary d omega and this narrow band is sorted in ascending order of the t values right this is our uh, algorithm for fast matching method so we then what we do is um, we take the narrow band and we propagate the t f and l values using a few steps so these are the steps that we use to propagate these values first what we need is we need to extract the band point with the smallest t value that is the step 1 and next what we do is we march the boundary inwards by adding new points to it and then so this is how we add uh, new points and we inpaint this point right and then we need to propagate the value of t of the new point to the neighbor okay and uh, for this we need to solve the icornell equation we use a method called finite difference approximation for that and while doing this we do it for the neighbors four different quadrants that is what is written over here like uh, k1 k plus 1 so we uh, have uh, we use this four different quadrants and we say we only take the minimum of it and we save this so the last step is to reinsert uh, the this one the uh, t of i mean k comma l to uh, with its new t into the heap right so now what we are doing is we'll just i'll just show you how uh, this um this thing works first i'll show you the input image this is my input image and uh, in the program we have converted this into grayscale and this one is my mask right so let's run the program we have completed the program and our this uh, solution is saved as out.png this is our inpainted solution thank you so much for watching